love one another, all right? We're not going to tolerate black on black crime. We're not going to tolerate uh, uh, one trying to harm one another, all right? We're trying to help the community by bringing solutions to our community. We shouldn't have to police our communities with the other, uh, with, by calling the cops on our system. We should be able to tell you to be respectful and keep it moving. But because hatred is within the minds of our people, we want to do each other harm. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. We want to do harm to one another. We want to do harm to our own people. And we are here giving you the laws of God. And most of our people say that we love God. But our actions are contrary. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou should not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou should not hate thy brother. Thou should not what? Thou should not hate thy brother. So the Bible says, thou shalt not hate thy brother. The Bible, the God of Almighty, says we are not to hate our brother. We are not to hate our sisters. And if you seek to do harm to your brother, if you seek to harm your sisters, that is hatred. And we can't build like that as a community. Our communities are going to stay destroyed when we continue to have hatred towards one another. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So the Bible says we should not show hatred towards one another and we shall rebuke one another. Meaning what? We shall correct one another. And guess what? The only way to correct our brothers and sisters, we got to call the cops. That's the only way to humble our sisters. That's the only way to humble the black man. It's to call the authorities. We got to call the other people to come and put us in prison. There's too many of the black women and the black men in prison. There's way too many of us in prison right now. Because our behavior deserves to be incarcerated. Because we continue to show hatred. And we out here to clean that up. But our people despise one another. We look just like you. We come out here. We're not in no building. We're not asking for your money. We are here to give you the laws of God. That's right. But it shows how much our people hate God. Read that again. And any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And do not what? And do not suffer sin upon him. So the Bible says we are not to suffer sin upon our people. So guess what? You know what that means? We are not to allow our sisters to cause harm to any brother. If anybody sees harm being done to anybody, we are to correct them. We're not going to allow you to do harm to one of us and think that we're just going to sit here like we're a bunch of choir boys. Read that again. In any wise, rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And we are here to not suffer sin upon our people. We're not going to allow our people to destroy one another. We're coming out here with gold. We're coming out here with the solutions. Give me um, our blood test of blood. What's that, Hosea? Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea 4 and 1. The Bible is the black man's book. The Bible is the solution to our communities. And we understand most of our people don't believe in the Bible because it's been destroyed and it's been uh, 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 manipulated, right, by our oppressors. But we come out here to give you the true understanding of the Bible. Christ is a black man. Moses is a black man. And we can prove all things within the laws of God. That's right. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So the Bible says, hear the words of the Lord, you so-called black men, you so-called black women. We, for the Lord have a controversy. So the Lord has a problem with his people. The Lord has a problem with his people. And what is that problem? We, with, with the inhabitants of the land. So the Lord has a problem with his people within our communities, within Newport News, within 30, was it 30, 30 Smoke, right? We, because there is no truth. There is no what? Because there is no truth. So God says there is no truth. 
within our communities. We, no mercy, no mercy. We showed much mercy to the sister, did we not? Yes, sir. We showed much mercy. We show much mercy to the sister. We know knowledge of God in the land. So the Bible says mercy, truth, and knowledge. What you say, mama? What you say, my mama? We do have a microphone, okay? I don't understand what you're saying. I'm trying, my sister. My sister, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. All right, read on. By swearing and lying. By doing what? By swearing and lying. So they're swearing and they're lying with the community. We and killing and what? And killing and killing. Lots and lots and lots of murders happen on this very street because there is no truth within our people. Because there is no love. There is no respect for the black man. I bet you if this, if we was a bunch of white people, a bunch of Caucasians. Teaching out the Bible, there will be no issue. But because we believe that we are each other's enemies, this is why we and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood. What? They break out and blood touches blood. So the Bible says this is why blood touches blood. We that again. But what I'm saying is that you they break out and blood touches blood. Verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So the Bible says our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So what is the knowledge that we lack? Give me Malachi. What is the knowledge that we lack? Because we're standing in front of a church. We're standing in front of a church. And this church should be able to govern this whole community. This whole block, the fear of God should be on the streets of 33rd and uh, Smoke. We, this is the book of Malachi. Get over here, Yep. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the Bible says, the priest's lips should keep knowledge. We, and they should keep the, the law at his mouth. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So the laws of God is what's to be sought after within the knowledge of God. I got you. Chicago Gate. Okay, give me Leviticus 23. So it's, it's, it's very important that you, my brother, what's your name? Michael, my name is Israel. All right. I see you got your fringes on. All right. So you say you're not Congo Gate right now. I'm going to give you the laws of God. You can see like you understand. The laws of God. All right, read this. This is book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Don't you know you are, Brother Michael, read. And say to them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. Even these are my feasts. So the Bible says a holy convocation. So a convocation is a gathering of what? Is it a gathering? Is it talking about a party? Is it talking about the club? No. It's talking about like-minded brothers and sisters. All right, those that keep the commandments. What you seek after? You seek to keep the commandments? All crazy. So guess what? On the back of that flyer, we got a school. See the highlighted part? You need to be there. You already got fingers on your clothes. You already understand the laws of God. That's where you need to be. Because we need more men to stand up within our community. Our praises. Our praises. So guess what? Today is your day. So we should see you at the school next week. Shoot, tomorrow. You said you said you you said you've been praying for us? Uh on where is that uh make haste? So you said you've been praying for us and we're here. And so now we're telling you there's a school right across the bridge. So if you if you saying you've really been praying and we're here and we're showing you there's a school literally like three minutes away, you should be at the Sabbath tomorrow. Cause you say I'm just going up what you saying. 
If you say you praying for real, for real, then look, God is answering your prayers. Right What's that, um, 119, uh, Psalms 119 and 60, I made haste. Is that? 59. Yeah, so what was that? 59 and 60. 59 and 60. Because I want to show you what David said in the spirit, right? Because when David messed up, he made haste to keep the commandments of God. Commandments of God. All right, you got it? Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delayed delay not. So what does the Bible say? I made haste and delayed not. So the Bible says, I made haste. Right? The Bible says, I was quick and delayed not to keep the commandments. So the Bible says, I made haste and I delayed not. So off of what you said, you said you've been praying. And now you are to do what? Make haste. Make haste. Read that again. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 60. Uh -huh. I made haste and delayed not keep the commandments. So the Bible says I ought to make haste. All right, why? Because the day of the Lord is coming. It's coming soon. But guess what? If our actions are not exhibiting righteousness, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it to the eternal life. We're not going to make it past the age that we are. This is going to be the only kingdom, the only heaven you know. Poverty is going to be the only heaven that the black man knows if they don't continue in righteousness. Give me that. Oh, come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. What you looking for? He got the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So the, Bible, the Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his problem. Read. As some men count his promise. As some men count slackness. So there's a lot of people that count the, uh, the promise of God slack. Meaning what? Give me, hold that, give me, uh, uh, Sirach chapter 2. Sirach chapter 2. Because they don't believe in, first of all, they don't believe in the true Messiah. Right? And because they don't believe in the true Messiah, they believe in their oppressor. They believe in their oppressor. And guess what? Our oppressors are ruling today. So this is the only key. Our people trust in oppression because their oppressor is their God. That's why they don't understand everlasting life. That's why. It's not that easy. We, the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 14. Woe unto you. So the Bible says, woe unto you. We that have lost patience. So the Bible says, destruction unto the black man, destruction unto the black woman that has lost patience in what? The true Messiah. The true Messiah. But guess what? They have all the patience in the world for this man right here. This man right here. We. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? So the Bible says, what shall you do? What are you going to do when the Lord visits the earth? When the Lord visits the earth with his angels. Go back to our peoples. What are you going to do when thermal nuclear bombs drop in America? ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. What are you going to do? We can't even run from a straight bullet. And you think you're going to be able to run from the bombs that's coming to America? Bring it out. Read. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. But the day of the Lord come on. will come as a thief in the night. So the Bible says the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But read on. In the which the heavens shall pass away. So this ain't just a regular thief in the night. He not coming to take the TV. He coming to destroy everything. This ain't no ordinary thief. This ain't no ordinary being caught off guard. This is judgment day. For the unrighteous of God's chosen people. Because a lot of our people say, I'm, I'm chosen. I'm God's chosen, right? Give me Amos. Um, uh, all the sinners of my people. If you claim to be God's people, guess what? God says you are not exempt. Just because you know that you're of the seed of Israel, just so you know that your father's Abraham, you know you're an Israelite in 2024, that does not exempt you from destruction. You got to be keeping the commandments. We. The book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 10. All the sinners. All the what? The sinners. 
sinners. All of the sinners, meaning all of those who break the commandments of God. All of those who show hatred. All of those who show, uh, uh, all of those who want to murder their own brothers. All of those who are committing fornication. All of those who are committing adultery. All of those that are inside of Christianity, Islam. This is what the Bible is saying about the sinners of my people. Read that again. All the sinners of my people shall die, but shall die. So the Bible says they shall die. Meaning you are not going to escape. That is a commandment that we cannot be escaped from. Read that again. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake. So a lot of our people say that evil shall not overtake us. Why? Why do our people say that the evil shall not overtake us? Because they got the what? They got the invisibility mentality. They got the. How about they believe? in a false guy. Because this man say, you can do what you want, you can come as you are, and you can still get the kingdom of heaven. This this man right here, this image, is the reason why, is one of the reasons why we show much hatred towards our people. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.